our morning rounds losing weight without dieting. A new book says you don't need willpower to shed the pounds. You just need to change your surroundings. It's called Slim by Design, Mindless Eating Solutions for Everyday Life. The author is Brian Wansink. He runs the famed Cornell Food Lab. And Brian Wansink, you make me feel bad about myself. I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> Starting with going to the restaurant, you've got a great line about attacking the bread that makes zombies look like they have good manners. <laughs> yeah, I have been there. That's right. But you're saying there's a strategy when you go to the restaurant to where you sit. Depending on where you sit determines the food you eat. Yeah, what we've done, we've analyzed lots and lots of orders in restaurants. What we find is that if you sit near a window, you're about 80% more likely to order salad. You sit in that dark corner booth, you're about 80% more likely to order dessert. So our booth is so-called fat tables, as you <laughs> yeah, say? Yeah, you can see that. Actually, the, the best place to probably eat is those high tables, the, the ones that are a little bit elevated because it makes you sit str up straighter. You uh, are more, more likely to order chicken and seafood and less likely to order ribs. Okay, and what about the food traps in our own kitchens? I mean, they, they are legion. You have a messy kitchen, a cluttered desk, where you end up eating 44% more snacks and if you're, the same kitchen is clear. Right, it's you say, in fact, that people who leave their cereal boxes out on the counter, you found that they were more likely to be a little bit heavier. Yeah, mainly women, about 21 pounds heavier than the <laughs> wow. neighbor next door that doesn't have any cereal But that's a correlation, all. right? That's it, just a it correlation. Exactly is. That's just an observational study. We went into about 230 homes in Syracuse, New York, weighed people, took photos of what yeah. the kitchens look like, and that's what we found. What's your strategy for shopping skinny? One of the things to do is that if you chew gum when you shop, wait, you're not, well, not going to buy snack foods. You're going to buy a whole lot less snack foods oh. because you've not, you don't feel the cravings. And uh, it's an easy thing to do. Because when you're hungry oh. also, um, you don't buy more food, which is what a lot of people think. What yeah. you do is you buy worse food. You yeah. buy more snack food. Yeah. And the problem with that is that it curses you for the entire week. You've also got a great uh, strategy for the buffets. As people take it as uh, <laughs> eat, all, all, eat all you can, but you say eat everything you've got. But there's a strategy, you say. I've learned buffet's not a friend. Yeah, what we've done is we've analyzed all these diners across the country that went into Chinese buffets. We've found that skinny people do things much different than heavy people. Like. One of the things they do, they sit... 16 feet farther away on average. They don't even realize it. They're about three times more likely to face away from the food, whereas a lot of heavy people yeah. face right at the food. And, <laughs> yes, hello, my name is Gail, and I want to see the buffet. <laughs> and you said skinny people circle the buffet and make their choices. Yeah. Fatty McFat Fats, uh, go get the plate and just start loading on. Yeah. I, know I learned a lot in your book. And you also talk about the color of the plates. Mm -hmm. You said that you eat less. If the, if the plate is a different color than your food. Yeah, the contrast matters a lot. So if you're serving white, let's say rice on a white plate, you don't really see the difference. So you tend to put about 18% more on. If you put that on a darker plate or a colored plate, you uh, automatically serve less and eat less. And the size of the plate matters too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean we can see right here, We've got about a 9-inch plate and a 12-inch plate, which is more the size of the plates most of us have. Mm -hmm. What we find is people serve about 22% more on a bigger plate than a smaller mm -hmm. plate because mm -hmm. it just doesn't look like very much. Yeah. yeah, These are all important tips, but at the end of the day, you agree, it's calories in and calories out. Yeah, but it's not counting calories, it's setting your environment up so you can mindlessly eat better without thinking about it. Yeah, don't rely on your willpower. Change your surroundings. Thank you, Brian. Really good sure. to see you.